Hey guys, in this video, we're going to see how to set up automation on Go High Level for order form submissions. So order forms are created inside Go High Level funnel pages. If you have a service or a product you want to sell, you can set up order forms and connect products to those order forms. So whenever there is a form submission, they actually uh, pay by adding their card details. So if we go to sites, I'll show you how it's done. If we go to a funnel, new funnel, uh, I'll just create order form test. So I'm just basically adding a blank funnel. I'm going to add a funnel page uh, that will say payment. Create funnel step. And I'm just going to edit this. So here in the page, I'm going to create a new section, a new column saying that make payment. And then I'm going to say fill out the form below to complete your payment. And you can add more stuff to it if you want. But what we want to see here is how to add order forms. So we can either say one step order or two step order. One step order basically is you fill out everything in one step uh, where I like the two step order form that allows you to uh, complete the payment in two steps really so the first step is enter your information the second one will be add your card details so here if you want you can hide shipping so i'll go to this forms advanced section and i'm going to say uh, hide shipping and no need to display co uh, company name as well so hide company name so full name email address phone number and then if we go to step two they're going to be able to add their card details, uh, which is pretty much it. I mean, that's the order form for you. You can also set up where they go after this, uh, after filling out this form. So either you could send, send them to a thank you page from here, or you can send them to a custom thank you page, which is an external link really. So it just depends on you. But if they fill this form out by adding their information and card details, they're basically making a payment. So if you want to add a product, so we right now we don't have a product in this form yet. So how much do they pay? What do they pay for? So we need to go to this pages products section by selecting this page. You can add a new product. So I have created a product previously that says web development for a thousand dollars and save. So now if you go to this preview, you can you still need to add a subdomain or a domain to this funnel though. Uh, so I'm going to say John, John at mail.com. And then go to step two. Oh. <clears throat> go to step two. Here you can see the product I added in the product section of this funnel page. That's why it's showing up, right? So I have not connected my Stripe account with this account. That's why it's not showing up. Uh, it's not giving me the option to add card details. But when you connect your Stripe, it's going to give you the option to add your uh, here to add card details and then it'll be ready to go. Uh, you can also, if you want to do a test, you could just do it from here. So go to the funnel settings and then put the funnel to test and it will show you, it'll allow you to do a test payment using dumb, dummy card details, you know. So John Doe, John at mail.com and then that's it. Then you'll be able to add your payment uh, test card details there. So based on this purchase, we can set up automation. In automation section, I'll go to uh, I'll just I'll just do 10. <clears throat> so the 10 order form automation and here in the trigger I'm, I'm saying order form submission I'm not gonna say order submitted that's a different thing so order form submission in funnel I'm gonna say order form test this is a funnel I created pages payment page there's only one page in the funnel and the product is website development so we are saying in the funnel order form test in the funnel page payment in the product sorry the product is website development when that product is purchased via this order form submission what do we want to perform so same thing 
we want to assign it to a user uh, maybe we can add a tag saying that order form purchased so uh, sorry website development purchased that's it and then we could say uh, notification to the assigned user in this case it will be me okay uh, assigned user new website design development purchased right right and then go hi there has been a new purchase and then give it a uh, name detail uh, name email phone number custom value same old same old i could choose to from here real quick name email phone so the name will be contact.name we have purchased it contact.email contact phone that's it so that's a notification and then you can send an email confirmation to the person who uh, actually bought it so i'm gonna say from me from my email thank you for your purchase and if you have stripe connected and they purchased it stripe is gonna or, or go high level is gonna by default send them an invoice with a pdf so you don't need to worry about that that happens by default uh, hi contact name thanks for purchasing website development service i will send you the onboarding form totally next so that's a really simple confirmation being sent to the person i mean you can obviously play around with it you can obviously uh make it more personalized you can add more stuff to it what i'm showing you is uh how to uh, work based on a trigger uh, and then create actions on that so order form submitted in a funnel uh in any of the funnel pages this is how you uh, filter that out in the trigger and then this is how you start performing automation you can also add them to uh, create update opportunities so you can definitely add them to a new pipeline so you can you could say maybe like purchase or something you can have a new pipeline there uh, pipeline stage saying purchase so you can definitely do st stuff like that but for now the, that's it really and uh, hope this video was helpful and made sense uh, and I will see you in the next one mm -hmm.